Who are the people gathering on the Clyde this weekend? Before they started drinking, we surveyed 580 Liberal Democrat councillors in England and Wales with the help of the pollsters, Comres. So the first question we asked was, if the next election results in a hung parliament, which team would you rather go into coalition with, the Reds or the Blues? Lib Dem councillors said Labour two to one. Tories or Labour, yeah. what would you say? I'd say, uh, it's not for us to say, I, I'd say it was for, oh, i say it was for the voters to say, actually, and we will decide, depending on what the voters tell us. Uh, Your councillors favoured a coalition with Labour, two to uh, one. Oh, well, it just, the, the important thing, I think, is it depends on uh, what's on the table. Who would you rather play table football against, a Labour MP or a Tory MP? I'd rather play football, table football against you because I'm winning. <laughs> oh, OK. So at the Lib Dem shop, which policies are winning and which ones are heading for the bargain bin? The most popular policy was a mansion tax on houses worth more than £2 million, which was supported by 86% of councillors. The next most popular policy was scrapping the Trident nuclear deterrent, which was supported by 72% of councillors. Ah, then there was the reinstatement of the 50p top rate of income tax. 70% of councillors liked the look of that one. Then when it came to the idea of banning the burqa in public places like schools and airports, 45% of councillors were in favour. And finally, a ban on topless page three models won the support of 33% of councillors. Why is it so popular amongst the Lib Dems, this idea of a mansion tax? I think we feel it's a much fairer tax. Um, as you know, we know that uh, there are people out there with very, very expensive houses. As a Lib Dem, which one of these is most important to you? Banning Trident. The Cold War ended in 1989. One of the other ones as well that was quite interesting was um, the idea of banning the burqa in public places. No, I very strongly feel that people should wear whatever they like. So if they want to wear a burqa or a kilt or, uh, in fact, because there's this naked rambler doesn't want to wear anything. And yes, we are the party of jobs. Thank you and have a great conference. Thank you. Last night, a fully clothed Nick Clegg rallied his troops. But if he wasn't around, who would Lib Dem councillors want instead? The business secretary, Vince Cable, was most popular with a third of all of the votes. In second place, the party's president, Tim Farron, with 27%. 10% went for Danny Alexander, the chief secretary to the Treasury, while the business minister, Joe Swinson, received 7%. The Energy Secretary, Ed Davey, scooped 6%. And in last place, Steve Webb, the Pensions Minister, who got 5%. So if any of these Lib Dem councillors wish to come and talk to me about it, I'm sure I'd be delighted to hear from them directly. Is that the start of a leadership campaign? <laughs> no, it certainly isn't. There's no vacancy and there won't be for a very long time. What do you think of my badge? Have you? Oh, that's excellent. It's a great collection you've got there. Yeah, so, these are the six contenders. You, you could be a conference delegate. But our survey isn't the only one that's got tongues wagging here in Glasgow because the Lib Dem leadership have commissioned their own poll which showed that 75% of the country will never vote for the party, no matter what they do. Also meeting here this weekend, this group of bikers. The Liberal Democrats like to think they've got just as much va-va-voom, even if a big chunk of the country doesn't.